Hi, you're watching Nerdy News on VideoGamesBlogger.com. I'm your host Laura, and today I'll be filling you in on the latest in gaming news. Sadly, we are not getting a new Zelda game for the Wii U this year, but we are getting an HD release of Wind Waker. It will be the first updated game released by Nintendo Direct, who are going to be releasing HD versions of some of their best-loved games released on the GameCube and on the Wii. I can't wait to see Wind Waker's unique cel-shaded graphics updated for the Wii U, but I'm even more curious to see how the Wii U controls will actually be utilized. Right now, Zelda remakes seem like a priority, as Oracle of Ages and Oracle of Seasons will both be available in Japan this month, but no North American release has been announced yet. Guest blogger for Scientific American and research assistant at Marquette University, Kyle Hill, took a theoretical look at the Legend of Zelda Time's time travel mechanics. Between quantum mechanics and string theory, I had to take a lot of Wikipedia breaks throughout the article, but it was worth it to consider the magical in-game world basically of my childhood in real-world terms. Now, I know Link wasn't just pulling a sword from a stone because magic! He entered another dimension and, replacing the Master Sword, shot him between temporal branches. Yay, science! As more games and series are going the social route, Square Enix producer Takehiro Ando wants to say sayonara to social games. He says social games are suffering from some real bad PR in Japan, and often the emphasis boils down to how to get some money from the customers. The inevitable backlash caused social game companies to remove controversial elements from their games. Ando wants to focus less on making games for smartphones that are social and make sure they are fun first and foremost. He cited Animal Crossing New Leaf as a good example of a game with a social element that actually enhances the game. Finally, The Elder Scrolls Online is on the horizon, and it's that special time during a game's development, the beta. No, wait, wait, wait. At least watch the rest of my show before you go sign up. <laughs> I've already signed up, of course, for a chance to receive a closed beta invite. And keeping my fingers crossed. One of the coolest parts of having the game set in Tamriel's remote past is the ability to visit familiar places, like Skyrim's major towns, but with altered layouts and familiar ruins dotting the landscape. The Elder Scrolls Online is scheduled to be released later this year, but there's still no official date set. The link to sign up for the beta is in the article above. Do you prefer games without social elements or with them? Or does it completely depend on the game? Let me know what you think down in the comments below. That's all the news I have for today. Love and peace from my PC to yours.